They're a bloody good bunch of killers. We're going to commit troops to the Vietnamese people, the National Liberation Front, uh, to fight the cowardly American aggressor. Who's and the, the Black Panther Party. The That's right. I'm going to uh, make this known at the Paris peace talks so that uh, it can be accepted or rejected uh, by the Vietnamese people, but in the spirit of internationalism. I can remember seeing on television people like Stokely Carmichael and others. Violence is a part of America's culture. It is as American as cherry pie. Against all forms of racism. And they were scary to me even. So uh, if it would shock a person like me being in the CIA, certainly the ordinary society and the elites above all, who run the United States would have been very threatened. Black power means dignity! See, it's no in-between. You're either free or you're a slave. There's no such thing as second-class citizenship. The only politics in this country that's relevant to black people today is the politics of revolution. That we must arm ourselves, that we are in imminent danger, that the concentration camps in Tule Lake, in Arizona, and Oklahoma are now being rejuvenated, reset up for us, and we will defend ourselves. Uh, I don't believe in guerrilla warfare. I think it would be both impractical, ineffective, and immoral. Uh, so I can't uh, believe in this at all. I think we must see on the other hand, however, that the young militants are in the revolutionary spirit. And uh, they are concerned about revolutionizing uh, certain values that have been existing in our society that need to be revolutionized. And I think the other thing that we must see is that, as President Kennedy said, those who make peaceful revolution impossible only make violent revolution inevitable.